Hey guys, what's happening? Matt O'Shea here, and today we're talking about the Sony A7 Mark III, which happens to be a replacement for my A7S Mark II. Now, I don't want to dive into any of the technical specs because there's already so many videos that cover that information, but what I do really want to do is chat about some of the features that perhaps you don't know, and then also about my experience with the camera so far. First up, let's chat about the body of the camera. Initially, when you pick this camera up, you're gonna notice a big difference from the version two of the A7 series to the version three. This camera has a little bit more weight than previous iterations, and you'll also notice when holding the grip that there's more of a rugged feel to it. It doesn't slip out of your hands as easy as the A7S Mark II did. The A7 Mark III series also comes with an updated battery, which has really solid performance. What I've found so far is that two batteries will actually last me a full day of shooting, which is super handy because you don't want to be carrying a whole bunch of batteries and then have to sort through which ones are empty, which ones are full. You'll also notice on the camera that there's a little joystick. I use this primarily to set my autofocus targets. The autofocus on this camera is really quite something. I'd say it's a step up from the A6500 and it just really does a great job of locking onto your subject and changing focus as they move. On the photography side of things, this camera has an impressive drive speed, which really allows you to capture any sort of nature or wildlife photography, or also sports photography. On the video side of things, the footage coming out of this camera looks outstanding. I would say it's definitely a step up from the A7S Mark II. The footage looks a lot more clean and crisp, and I would also say that the color science seems to have changed too. And this is something that Sony users have always had a hard time with, this yellow tint. But if you look at this footage, you're gonna notice that it just doesn't look like it has that anymore. The low light footage of this camera also has solid performance, though I wouldn't say it's as good as the A7S Mark II, but it does come close. One mode that I really like is the APS-C mode, which I've mapped to my C3 button on the left hand side. This allows me to crop in, which gives me two focal lengths at the push of a button. If you're a wedding or event filmmaker, then mapping this function to a button is going to be a game changer for you. And while we're on the topic of mapping buttons, the Sony A7 Mark III has a customizable menu. This is going to be huge for all the people who have found the Sony menu system to be really complex and confusing. You're able to put the features that you deem most important into the customizable menu. Another interesting thing about this camera is that it has a USB-C port. And this can allow you to charge the camera, which is an ineffective way of charging the camera. But more importantly, it's gonna allow you to connect your camera to your computer and never have to change your SD card. So that's a bonus. Now this camera is also tolerant to some weather conditions, I would say. I was on a shoot a little while back and we were on a boat and I won't mention who the boat driver is because he's on YouTube, but we ended up hitting a wake, almost flipped the boat over. My camera got completely soaked quickly turned it off, let it rest, dry out for the rest of the night, and sure enough, everything turned on, everything was fine. Splash test, soak test approved. And the last feature that I wanted to highlight is that this camera has the hybrid log gamma picture profile. This picture profile has amazing color and solid dynamic range. I'd say it's probably gonna be one of my go-to picture profiles, but right now I'm still trying to figure out the workflow because it is pretty intensive. So these are just some of the features that I thought were worth letting you know. I really enjoy this camera. I've had it now for about a month and a half and it's been super reliable. That's gonna be it for me guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit that button and I'll see you guys in the next one.